Hey, what's up, familia? We're Edgar Bryan and Chelsea, the Amp Morning Show on 97.1 Amp Radio, hanging out with our homies. B-T-A. Yes. Here we are, <laughs> Yes. Yes. Hi. Thank you, guys. Congratulations on all the amazing things that are happening in your guys' lives right now and career. And we want to, especially before we kick off, want to thank you because we saw you. you guys recently tweeted the fact that you were listening to 97.1 Amp Radio, yeah. listening yeah, to Boy With Love are. Sugar. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. Yes. That's what it is. Uh, you guys, you guys were on the way to watch Avengers. Yeah, Avengers. Yeah. Avengers. And game. Yeah. So sad. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Okay. <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay. What did it feel like to turn on 97.1 Amp Radio here in LA and, and hear your music <laughs> playing in LA? So amazing. So how, how you feel? So how you find it? How you find it? How you find it? I was just driving. I was just driving. I was just driving. I was just driving. So like he 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 did nothing and he was just in the car and just driving down for the I'm watching Avengers and he was like and listen to Boy We Love with Halsey and that would be amazing maybe Avengers and BTS that's the perfect set. I love that. <laughs> just, just curious, yeah. who are your favorite event Marvel characters? Oh, you... Mar Marvel character, who do you Oh, that, that's uh. hard. <laughs> Iron Man, of course, Dangerous for me. Question. I love mm, Thor, Thor, Thor. Thor. <laughs> mm, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Ah, yeah, of course. For me, Doctor Strange. Iron Man. Iron Man. Come on, Sugar. Oh, that's, oh, this is the hard. I mean, this oh, is the hardest so hard. Too broken up about it right now. Yeah. Iron Man. Okay. Iron Man. Uh, I love you all. <laughs> all of them. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh, actually, Rhino, Ryan Reynolds just followed Thanos. us on Twitter. <laughs> so we have no, to no, pick no, Deadpool. No, no, Deadpool. Yes, yes, Deadpool. Iron Man, Iron Man. You should be in Avengers. Yes, I love that. Come on, Ryan. It's, it's, Come on, Ryan. <laughs> well, it's been so cool to see your guys' success, obviously. Uh, three number one albums on the Billboard 200 oh, in yeah. less than a year. And then you guys also just sold out two shows at the Rose Bowl. Right. That's so huge. So I want to know, how are you guys taking to this whole new title of Kings of Pop? Um... You know, <laughs> we're not kings of pop. We just, we just That's like what everyone's calling we're you. just like boys of pop from Korea. Oh, <laughs> I love that. So humble. Well, yeah, I mean that's true. So, um, you know, we just try to enjoy the ride. We've yeah. heard that we're the, we be the only artists, um, to perform in Rose Bowl in 2019. Awesome. And you know, just so honored. And you know, others keep saying, you guys are telling us the good words and the yeah. good news, and we just try to, you know not miss the handle and just try to enjoy the ride. What went through your head when you were standing on stage and saw 50,000 people standing in front of you? What were you thinking? How do you feel? It was so amazing. Yeah. Just so we, we, we first time, uh, we first, it was like first time ever we just, we just made everyone um, put their cell phones. Wow. And it was like, it, were, it was lighting and the boss boy was like, it was like the like the universe. You saw the galaxy. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a good way to put awesome. it. So when you look out, you know, you perform at the Rose Bowl and you look out and you see the, the faces of the folks, the, the people that come to see you, your fans, so diverse from all, you know, all uh -huh. different backgrounds, cultures, languages. How does that feel to kind of be someone who's bringing, uniting all these different people from different areas of, of life? I mean, that's the, um, that's the thing we, like, exactly we want to do. Because, yeah. you know, we're just, boys from Korea and we even sing in Korean, but right. we, you know, we could collaborate with Halsey and make Halsey dance with two, She's dance so good, by the way, us. she killed yeah, it. she was, she <laughs> killed, she nailed it. <laughs> and on even BBMAs, yeah. with all the pop stars we love, and, you know, it's like, fans come from even Canada, Brazil, right. from Asia, Europe, like everywhere. So, you know, music, truly transcends everything. It, it was fun uh, seeing on social media what celebrities have become your fans that were at the show. You know, Nick Jonas was there. We saw Nick. Yes. <laughs> we saw well, Sean Stockman from Boys to Men. Yes. Yeah. And who else? Khalid, of Khalid. course, our friend. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, too, because I, I actually talked to Khalid at the Billboard Music Awards, and uh -huh. he obviously so excited about possibly collabing with you guys in the future. He said there's been conversations. Can you guys tell us at all? Like, maybe is that something we can expect in the near future? Um, Khalid, the collaboration is minute. And for Khalid, you know he's he's our friend like from the yeah. very start he was a he was a rookie and we were some like new artists to like for to to us right. it's like first time ever we we came to Billboard Music Awards in 2017 we just met in Khalid was like singing young dumb young dumb and so bro huh? he was a rookie at that time and we just met and we just loved our 
each other's music. Mm -hmm. And it's, and what I can say is, it is really happening. Okay, yeah, it is right. happening. Not just a conversation. Like, like yeah. 2019, it, it maybe. It is actually, um, maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. all I can say. But conversation. Yes. Not putting a timestamp on This is a big one. It's like, it's yeah. really happening. Well, and also, he has such a vo big voice, so it's like, what message do you want to put out there with him, you know? Like, have oh, you had that, okay. that conversation at all? Um, n um, we're just, we're just, we're just having fun. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Well, I just want to say, what do you want to say to your LA BTS Army and also US BTS Army? Because we see it, it's literally the strongest fan base that we see on social media, phone calls, text messages, all the above. They've come into our studio many a times uh -huh. and just constantly showing love. And what Brian said, what I love the most about it is you, there's so much diversity, right? You have Latinos, you have right. uh, Caucasians, you have uh -huh. the Asians, you have people from all walks of life coming together and feeling like family. Yeah. So what do you want to say to your LA BTS army for all that support? Um, okay, so, you know, like when, when we come to LA, I, I actually already said this, but you know, it feels like our, our second home because yeah. we came here in 2014, you know, nobody knows us, we have, um, we had to, you know, put the put the put the advertisement papers out for our performance. So like twenty, uh, like two hundred people came for the show. Remember wow. that, and you know, it's, it was a very starting. Still remember it. Yeah. And you know, for the support of you know many people, of course, supported, but especially the LA BTS Army. Yeah. They were you know one of the most supportive like fan base in throughout the world. Yeah. So. You know, you guys helped us, and you know we're here because of you guys. Mm. And it means like, that's the world sincere. For us. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool when we hang out with you guys because you know you you are one of the biggest bands in the world, the biggest band in the world. But you guys are all, always have remained so humble in the in the last couple of years. I've known you. Um, how do you guys stay so humble and grounded, and and not get caught up in everything? What's the? Okay, okay, guys, we're coming to learn something. Then, Jimmy, how much can you guys spend? Oh, 그냥 그냥. 그냥 너무 감사하니까 그걸 계속 표현하려고 하다 보니까 뭐 다른 사람들이 보기에는 그런 거 같은데 어. 제가 보기에는 그냥 감사한 일을 계속 만들어 주셔서 그걸 표현하다 보니까 그렇게 된거 같아. So we just feel he just said that we just feel like grateful for everything and every day it's just because we never imagine like such kind of these mm -hmm. things. So like everything everything and every good news is like a like a miracle for mm -hmm. us and we try to express like we just been trying to express all the thankful minds for us, yeah. uh, for for them, and I think that's why, because people tell us you're, you guys are humble because we like expressing. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you guys that. aren't being BTS music superstars. What do you guys do when you're just friends hanging out? How do you unwind? How do you just just be yourselves and have a good time? Mus not not involving music, just okay. just having fun. Shoot there, what are you doing? Just having fun. Just having fun. Mobile game. He's playing phone games. Yeah, phone games. Shopping and sleeping. Nice. Sleeping is important. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best one. <laughs> Roasted asparagus. Listen oh. to music. Oh, listen yeah. To music. Okay. Phone singer. I just love to. Couch potato. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Couch potato. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Play online game. Online game. Play, yeah. uh, playing games. And Chungu, JK? Uh, I'm studying English and uh, eating and boxing. Yeah. Wow. That's it? Fantastic. Well, we just want to thank you guys on behalf of 97.1 Amp Radio. Thank you, 971. The Amp Morning Show and the LA BTS Army. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thank you. you guys are the best. Thank you for having us.